the quick part two uh, to that down in Atlanta spiel. Uh, I'm really surprised Travis didn't mention more of like the hipster stuff that people love to do. I mean, especially because him and Pharrell are part of that that black hipster crowd. Um, I know they mentioned Graveyard Tavern, uh, which is it's pretty hipster. Uh, they also, but then they, he mentioned Magic City, which is like the most typical Atlanta thing, and and Cle being in Cleveland. Uh, not on Cleveland Avenue, but it's like he could have mentioned going to Waffle House, getting a, a a Grand Slam after the club, going to the Majestic, shopping in Little Five Points, walking the Beltline, uh, going to Tara to see a documentary or something like all these. He he has a wide abundance of random hipster stuff that he could mention. Going to to Claremont Lounge, like and they, again, they say this song is old, so and like. Hips, I want to say be like three before the pandemic and then years before. That's when it probably still is, but that's when Atlanta hipsterness was probably in its peak. So he had he had ample material to look at and go from, but he did typical rapper stuff. And maybe that's another reason why the song is to me is is not a good song because it's just it's typical. It's kind of lazy too. But that's just that's how I feel about it. So this was again just a quick part two of my my down in Atlanta spiel. Like I said, hopefully they do a remix and they switch it up, switch the beat up, switch Travis's lyrics up. I doubt Travis wrote this song. Uh, I've said this on so I said this on social media, but it literally sounds like whoever wrote this song has been to Atlanta enough times or been in Atlanta enough times to know what happens in Atlanta, but they still don't even know what the hell they're talking about. 